That's kind of messed up, you know, what happened to the girl. It took her more than a month, but this woman felt she now needed to come forward with this video that is disturbing from start to finish. We want to know what happened to her, you know what I'm saying? Because we was kind of worried about her. She was really hurt. This woman was at the gas station at Seven Mile and Shaner when she couldn't help but notice this. A woman beaten by another right in the middle of the street, pummeled all the way to the wheel bed of this semi truck with a driver who stopped to watch. Hey, she beating that up on your truck. Man, set up, dog. She just lays there until the truck driver gets enough of a show and decides to take off. Oh, no, oh, oh. The young woman comes close to getting crushed between the wheels and then falls to the ground. But it's not over yet. You better run over. The semi runs over her feet. <laughs> Plenty of witnesses, but no one seemed to do anything to stop it. And instead of helping this woman, you can watch this man drag her around as if she was a rag doll. Why didn't anybody intervene? You know, the area there where we stay at, you can't just intervene with everybody mess. You can't. It ain't safe. You might liable to get killed. This witness left before police and EMS arrived and rushed the 18-year-old to St. John Hospital. But she says she hasn't stopped thinking about the young woman and decided to come forward now, hoping this video will help. Somebody's daughter, and she might need this film for court or a lawyer or whatever. Okay, so the video looks really bad. Witnesses who were there say it was bad, but it seems the victim is okay with it. After she got out of the hospital, police called her to take her complaint, but she never called them back. And if she doesn't press charges, there's nothing police can do. She beating that bitch up on your truck. Police tell us they are ready to go after the attacker if this woman comes forward. And now, if she sees this video, maybe she will. On Detroit's east side, Taryn Asher, Fox 2 News. Oh, 